Hello friends and welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to show you how you can create a vertical resolution timeline in DaVinci Resolve and bonus tip for you, I'm going to show you how you can change your widescreen resolution to a vertical one in case you finish your project and you want to make a few clips or a few videos for Instagram, TikTok or YouTube Shorts. Let's go. Okay, so we are now in DaVinci Resolve. So this process is absolutely the same for either when you open a new project or you want to change the timeline resolution in a project you've already finished, okay? But let's start with a new project. So in order to change the settings to your DaVinci Resolve project, you have to go here on the right bottom corner and click on this gear icon and then you will see the settings pop up. Okay, so my default settings are these ones, okay, so 4K and as you can see here, you see you have use vertical resolution, this is not toggled on, so I have to toggle this on in order to have a vertical resolution. Okay, perfect. So now in order for me to have an easier process next time I open DaVinci Resolve, what I can do, I can create a preset out of this vertical resolution or out of this project settings. So for this I have to go here where these three dots are click on this and then go save current settings as preset okay so let me do that i'm gonna go here and put vertical 4k boom save okay so now i've got the settings saved as a preset so next time i'm opening davinci resolve i'm gonna go here and just press on this and press load preset okay great done so if you want these to be your default project settings and you have to go here click on vertical 4k and set default preset okay but i don't want to do that but if you want to you're free to do it okay save boom so now we are in a vertical resolution project so i'm going to go and grab my clip over here as you can see this is very nicely done in a vertical resolution okay so this is the second example so what i'm going to do now i'm going to change this widescreen resolution uh to a vertical one for this what i'm going to do i'm going to go and find my timeline okay so this is the timeline of this project i'm going to go and create a duplicate okay duplicate timeline i'm going to go and change the name to uh right so i'm going to do vertical 4k so i know that this is, is going to be my vertical resolution open it okay and here we are in our project now what i'm going to do is the same process i'm going to go to the right bottom corner to this gear icon click on it and it's as simple as you know click here use vertical resolution save and straight away we can see we have our vertical resolution very nice now, you see the problem here, we've got some subtitles and you want subtitles when you have a vertical resolution video because when you're using TikTok and Instagram and YouTube Shorts, people most of the time don't listen to the audio or there's no audio. You have to attract your viewer with subtitles. You see here, I've already created the subtitles from my widescreen project so in order to change the text here what you have to do you have to go to the right hand corner here you see you've got video you've got captions and you've got track you have to go to track and change the settings of this subtitles track so as you can see now the text is too big so the subtitles are way too big now we need to make them smaller i'm gonna drag this to the left and make them smaller here we are so the first caption looks fine let me go and check the second the second still looks a bit bigger so for this what i'm going to do i'm going to go and drag this again to the left but please notice these affect the whole track so now if i made this smaller the first caption is small as well you see because this affects everything on the subtitle track okay looks good second looks good the third the third one doesn't look good but we're gonna change this a different way what i'm gonna do now i'm going to create a double line for this caption okay so this is the caption i'm gonna go somewhere here in the middle like that and just split it i'm gonna do shift enter and split this into a, a two line caption 
and I'm gonna check the second one. I'm gonna check the third one. Looks pretty good. I can actually go even a little bit bigger. I'm gonna go to track again, click on track, make it just a tiny bit bigger, not that big, maybe just like this. I'm gonna check the third caption now. It looks good. Sadly, you cannot change the captions individually. You can change the text individually, but you cannot change caption individually. But that's fine. I think that looks good. I'm happy with that. And again, if I needed this to be sort of like in the middle, I would go again to video, transform and smart refrain. Object interest, of course, it's my face over here. But if I had to choose, I would go reference point and then put this on my face. And if I had to move my face left, right, then DaVinci Resolve would have kept my face in the middle. Pretty cool effect. And this is it, friends. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you found it interesting and useful and you got some value out of it. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing and why not buy me a coffee if you enjoy what I do on this channel. I love coffee. No more than two a day and no sugar. Take care. I'll catch you guys in the next one. All the best. Bye-bye.